I'm back here again at Rising Sun Workshop with Pat, and today we're gonna to do an oil change. Let's go. All right, first thing to start with an oil change is to make sure that the engine is a little bit warm. So okay. I'm gonna start the bike and I'm just gonna let it run for about three minutes. Okay. What that's gonna do is it's gonna raise the viscosity of the engine oil. It's gonna make it a little bit runnier so that it actually comes out of the engine a little easier. Now we're going to drain the oil out of the motorcycle. On this particular bike, we actually have two points of draining. Okay. There is the main sump under here. And on this dirt bike, we actually have an oil tank in the frame. Okay, so I'm gonna put a drain pan right underneath. I'm gonna grab a socket, it fits that bolt. It's important when you're using these tools to just double check that you've got the right size. Yeah. You can have a socket that was one size larger that will sometimes feel like it fits because it bites. Yeah but always grab the next size down socket and just make sure that that fits mm, nice okay. and snug. So how do you know what engine oil that you should be using? Each bike will have a different dedicated engine oil grade that it wants to use from its manufacturer. For this bike, we're using 10W40. 10W stands for winter. So okay. that's a hot, a cold and a hot uh, unit of viscosity. Right. So 10 winter is how the engine oil behaves and the thickness and density of it when it's cold. Mm -hmm. And then the 40 is how it behaves when your engine's at operating temperature. Okay, so while we're doing a full oil change here, we're also going to have a look at our oil filter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so inside here we have the cover with the spring. Yep. The spring is going to push the oil filter into its little home inside there. Also, you'll note on the outside here, there's the gasket, the O-ring. When we're doing this, we're going to be inspecting the O-ring, make sure it isn't broken, and it's, it still looks quite good and there's no sign of wear in there. So it's a good periodic maintenance thing just to keep on top of. The filter is what's in charge of filtering all this uh, sediment and particles and stuff that's inside your engine oil that you don't want cycling through into okay. the engine. So it's gonna come into the frame through the oil filter and mm -hmm. then into your engine. Okay, so I'm reinstalling now here. This is our new K&N filter. That's the color. Yep. Brand new. I'm chuck this O-ring on inside there. And insert my filter. Okay, so we've taken the oil out, but what do you do with it if you're at home, say? Yeah, absolutely. So if you're going to do this job at home, mm. you're going to put your oil into a drainage pan, similar to that. After you've done that, transfer it into a little bottle or a jug yep. and take it to your local mechanics. Next thing to do is to replace the main sump bolt and then the frame oil bolt. Now we're ready to fill the bike. All right, so 1.8 litres. I've got one litre. And I've got 800 mils here. I'm easy gonna, math. Easy math, yeah. <laughs> I'm still adding it up. <laughs> okay, so is there anything else after you've filled it up? The last check to do is to uh, cycle the new oil through the bike. So we're gonna run the bike again for another couple of minutes just to warm it up, and then we're gonna check the level on the dipstick. So does it matter if you only have a side stand, which mine only does, um, when you're doing your oil, does it matter? Does it make a difference? It does make it does make a difference, but it doesn't necessarily matter. Your oil, if you just leave it for a little bit longer and your bike is warm, the oil will eventually drain out. Mm -hmm. um, one thing to note is you can hold it on one side and bring it up off its side stand and just kind of give it a light shake. Yep. And that should drop some of the oil out, the excess oil. Okay. Okay, so the last thing to do is to start the bike up and just to cycle our fresh engine oil through. Yep. So as the engine oil gets a little bit warmer, it's going to be more likely to drip out of the bolts that we've just removed. Yep. So even though we've, we've used our torque specs and we've done everything that we should have, um, after the bike is warm, we're going to check all of those points and just check that it's not actually leaky. Okay, excellent. Well, that's an oil change done. I'm going to go get a coffee, but you can check out our playlist of other tips and tricks.